Hey guys, Techie KHD here again with another video and you guys have been asking for this one for a really long time. This is my What's On My Mac 2016. Now you guys have already seen my desk setup. I made a desk setup tour not too long ago, but a couple of things have changed. I just got a new monitor, so I'll probably throw in a couple clips of it somewhere. You guys have probably already seen it if you guys have watched um, some of my latest videos. I've had a clip of it in there somewhere. But either way, uh, this has been one of the most requested videos on my channel over the course of 2015, so I thought I'd jump in and show you guys what is on my Mac for 2016. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight on into the video. Now, I don't know why you guys have been bothering about this so much, because there's not a lot going on. Uh, Alright, I'm kidding, there's a lot going on. Uh, either way, let's actually... So you guys first off might notice that um, this is being filmed or you're probably watching this in like an ultra wide screen uh, and that is because I'm using a monitor with my computer. I use a LG 34 UC 87C ultra wide monitor. This is a 3440 by 1440 monitor. It's really nice. It has a lot of horizontal space and a lot of uh, vertical space as well, which is actually really nice for productivity. I get a lot of work done here, especially since I don't need to have multiple desktops open all the time, but I normally just do because I'm, you know, working on different things uh, with different workflows. On one desktop, I might have Safari open uh, as well as Twitter, and on the other, I might have my Adobe work suite, and on the third, I might have a finder window open along with Spotify or my email. But there's always a lot going on on my computer, and uh, having all of this workspace, I think, is probably one of the nicest things about having this massive monitor instead of having two separate displays. Um, so we'll come back to this window over here, but let's start off with what's actually in my dock to begin with because these are the applications that I'm primarily using on a day-to-day -day basis and then I actually hop it over here if I need to find any other apps that I that I generally need to use. All right, so all the way on the left, of course, we have Finder because obviously this is not something you can get rid of and also because I'm always going to need to browse my workspace and all of my files. Generally, if I don't have to access it from the dock, I normally just hit Command F on my keyboard and it generally brings it up because I want to search for something or I just use Spotlight Search because that's the easiest thing to do on a Mac. And I also have Adobe Lightroom, which is my primary area, my primary software that I use every single day. This is generally open in the background all the time because I am a photographer and when I'm at my computer most of the time I'm editing photos. Now I generally edit uh, the majority of my photos in Lightroom, but if I ever need to do any other extra touch-ups or anything, I will move them into Photoshop CC. Whether these are CC, the Creative Cloud, I have Creative Cloud right here in my um, taskbar area at the top right. Uh, and Photoshop is also used to make a lot of the thumbnails that you see on this channel. Then I also have Adobe Illustrator, CC again, uh, Creative Cloud. Um, now I don't actually use Illustrator as much as I should be. This is a software that is very, very, very useful uh, for creating vector files instead of graphic um, or instead of pixel files that I generally use Photoshop for. It's really just because I'm not very good at Illustrator. I don't know the ins and outs of it quite uh, well just yet. So it's here to motivate me to use it, but I never really get around to it, unfortunately. Then I've also recently got Adobe After Effects CC, uh, and this is really because I want to start making my own intros. Now the intro that you see on this channel, the one that you just saw, uh, and probably another one that I'm going to be getting uh, is not made by me because I'm not very good with using motion graphics. But this is definitely something that I want to work at, uh, especially since I'm in a creative industry. I think this is a skill that would be very useful to possess. Also system preferences, this is really just in case I ever need to go in and change any settings. And for some reason system preferences acts very weird on my computer. It just takes a long time to boot up, I mean, or for the software to open up. Now I think that's really because I have all of these extras down here, because before I had a lot of this extra stuff that, that logs in and uh, works with system preferences, it would just open generally pretty quickly. Um, after that, I have Final Cut Pro 10. This is what I use to edit all of my videos for my YouTube channel. That's what I'm using to cut parts of this video. Since this is pretty much a screen capture for the most part, there's not a ton of editing involved, but generally um, Final Cut Pro is what I use. And I normally have a massive workflow that, that just stays uh, up here on one of these desktops that I was talking about earlier. 
you know, the kinds that I can scroll through. Again, and having all of this horizontal space with this ultra wide monitor is essential to having a productive workflow inside of Final Cut Pro because I'm not always scrolling back and forth. I really, really enjoy having the workspace, especially when I'm editing video. Then I also have messages. I would open this up, but there's a lot of phone numbers and contact information in there for people who probably wouldn't appreciate me sharing it without their permission. But I use this just to communicate with all of my friends and family for the most part. Everybody I know has iPhones, and if not, then it just logs in via my cell phone, which is also an iPhone, and manages to send text messages to people, which is great. I also have Safari, which is my main uh, browser of choice. I don't use, really use Chrome unless it's to update my website because Safari has a bug. Um, now, if you guys don't know, I'm a massive car fan, so pages like Stance East on my Facebook are something that I like and follow um, quite closely, especially with the Statsun 240Z, which I think is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, but I'm also on websites all the time, uh, my own one included, so let's actually head over there and I'll show you guys real quick. Something wrong with that little thumbnail there, but we'll just load up the website. My internet recently has been quite terrible, and especially with a website like this that's hosting hundreds and hundreds of very very high quality images um, it, it puts a lot of pressure on my internet connection um, and also my computer because I don't have a graphics card and powering all of these pixels is, is quite quite pressuring but here we go I think I've opened up most of it um, so this is my website it's really all of my photography if you guys would like to visit it uh, there is a link in the description below and I think a lot of you might like the work that you find here so I would highly recommend you guys go over there and then give me some feedback if you'd like we're just gonna close out of this right now and head back over to a desktop uh, after Safari, there is iTunes. I don't really use iTunes all that much besides for syncing my iPhone and backing it up. Uh, as you guys can see, I really don't have um, a ton of music on here. Local files are not something that I tend to save very much. But really the music player that I use predominantly is Spotify. I'm a Spotify Premium member. Uh, the Discover Weekly is probably one of my favorite features. It gives me very, very accurately recommended tracks. Every other service that I've ever used says recommended in quotation marks, and it gives me just random music from a similar genre. But this is all music that I actually really enjoy. And having this curated playlist ready for me every Monday I think is really nice. I had a very long day in class today and having all of these new songs that I haven't heard before, again, for the most part, uh, was really nice and it definitely helped me be productive throughout the day listening to new music and you know enjoying and just working so spotify is my main music player now this is a bit of a plug because they gave me cloud magic for free but i have been using cloud magic as my email client on my phone for a while and i absolutely love it so i asked the developers if they could give me a copy for the mac uh, because i found it a little bit expensive on the mac app store but i absolutely love this Cloud Magic has become my primary way of accessing email. Uh, now, I've never really been the kind of person who uses a desktop email client, but Cloud Magic is just so clean and just beautiful. I don't even know what to do um, or how to explain how absolutely wonderfully designed it is. I really can't go into any of these emails here and show you guys. I mean, I could probably get into this one here but I mean it's just a really clean interface it has a lot of shortcuts it's just very easy to use very minimal very clean but it's just a very powerful clean minimal lightweight email client which I absolutely love so it never quits I normally just close it out uh, I also have photos I don't know why I'm actually just gonna remove that I never use the photos app and also a quick time because that's just what I'm recording with this doesn't normally live in my dock now, outside of these dock applications, if I jump on in here, you know, I have just the general Apple apps like FaceTime and Game Center and Books and things like that that nobody uses. But I also have Cinch, which is what I use to pin my windows to different sides of a screen, whether it be there or to the left pin it to the top. I think this was functionality that I used to like back when I was a PC user back in the day uh, and that's why I got Cinch to be able to get that functionality on a Mac which I still think Apple should definitely implement in the next version of Mac OS. I also have App Cleaner which is the best way of getting rid of useless applications and clearing storage on your Mac. I recently got a warning because I had all of my storage used up on my startup disk and using App Cleaner helped me clean almost 155 gigabytes of absolutely useless information that was sitting on my computer which was super super great. It's very useful every time I want to get rid of an application and all of its daemons and files all over my computer I use App Cleaner. Again as I mentioned before I have Google Chrome because I just need that to update my website. 
uh, Android file transfer for whenever I have Android phones in that I'm testing and want to get images off of them to view on my computer in full resolution. Uh, VLC for playing uh, unsupported file formats for QuickTime Player. Uh, a bunch of Canon utilities for my 70D. Uh, I also have UnRX, which is my RAR client of choice on a Mac. Uh, I have Xcode because, you know, I mean, I have Xcode, I don't really use it. I have Handbrake for encoding my videos when I'm saving them to my external hard drive, which I'll go into in a minute. And there's just a plethora here of just gen uh, general Microsoft apps um, in the Office workspace. Now, I'll be the first to admit I really don't like Microsoft, but when someone does something right, I cannot hold a bias against them simply because I don't like the company. And productivity applications is something that Microsoft does absolutely right. I'm just going to open up Microsoft Word here, and this is my primary text edit type um, program on my computer, and there's nothing that I love more. I don't think Pages and Keynote and Numbers have ever been able to compare to something like Microsoft Office, in my opinion. And I'm a Mac lover, so you guys really know what I'm talking about here if it's if I speak of it so highly. I think that Microsoft Office 2016 for the Mac was designed especially well, and I really love using it. I take all of my notes for classes and things on this, and I couldn't recommend it enough. Besides for that, I don't have a ton over here. I also have, you know, Google Earth and Skype and stuff that everybody just has lying around. Let me show you guys what I do for organization a little bit. I mean, I have a folder here on my desktop called photographs and these are just recently edited photographs for the most part. And I have a lot of them put into like folders and things. But then also I have like pictures and things like that, different folders. Um, but really where you guys are going to find the majority of my stuff is on an external hard drive called 2TB here, very simply for two terabytes. Um, so let me actually just bring up the folder sizes here. Now this is something that bothers me because I always bring them up and for some reason they're always shrinking back down. Um, but so I have these like different categories here for videos. I have a lot of like different TV shows which questionably acquired but uh, I do have on this external hard drive. Uh, projects are just I think uh, these are just things that I've been working on. So this is actually a monitorizer that I made for my Thunderbolt uh, display back when I had it. It's made of hardwood and a gray stain. It has a drawer. This is just one of those things I was working on for school, um, which I think was actually really nice. It's one of the things that I really enjoyed making. And it's perfectly contoured to the base of the iMac as well as the Thunderbolt display, as you guys can kind of see in the shot here, which I really like. I worked very hard on this. Um, but these are just some projects. Again, movies, questionably acquired. Um, here, I think I probably just... Okay, these are just old files. This definitely needs to be deleted, I think. I don't need any of those anymore. Under graphic design, I have a lot of other different things that I've been working on. Resources, where I'm, you know, I have stuff saved. I have my finals folder, where I have a bunch of, you know, different, like, files that I've been working on. They're done. I have this whole set that I did called Minimal Faces, which was one that I like. I just did it for a couple people, some of my friends. There was that. There's some posters that I'm working on, uh, and these have been posted to my new Instagram called Graphic, which is just my graphic design persona on the internet. These are just some basic ones that I did that I'm going to get printed out soon. Uh, and yeah, so there's a lot of PSD files in here for miscellaneous things, business cards, logos, posters that I've designed. Uh, photo shoots has uh, finals and raw files. I like to keep the raw files from a lot of my photo shoots just so I can go back and tinker with the photos whenever I want and finals of course are finished projects. Um, and yeah, for, for the most part, that's about it. Now, I think that really that has, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, on my desktop, I normally just have like recent stuff that I've been working on in, in case it isn't done. That's just a stupid picture of my friend there. Um, a logo, things like that. Um, yeah, so this kind of stuff generally lives on my desktop. I also have a 2015-16 post um, folder here for just school stuff that I always need to have quick access to for homework and assignments and things like that. So really that about wraps up this video guys. There's not very much more to it. This has been What's on my Mac 2016. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave it a massive thumbs up button, letting me know that you enjoyed it. And if you guys would like to see any new interesting content, leave me some recommendations in the comment section of the video, and I will definitely get to making some cool new videos for you guys. This one was highly requested, so I decided to make it. So if there's anything else that pops up of major interest in the comments, I will definitely go ahead and make that video. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.